situation. And I'm not saying that there aren't some areas where that's warranted, but it's important to recognize there are also areas where it's simply not. Both sides are firing rockets, but one side has one of the most advanced militaries in the world. Both sides are suffering heartbreaking casualties, but one side is suffering them exponentially. And it's not like the US is operating from the moral high ground here. It's obviously no stranger to drone striking weddings and saying, we were just trying to target enemy combatants. This country has blood on its hands too. And look, if you believe Israel's actions are warranted and proportionate this week, you're welcome to try and make that argument. But we have got to start having this conversation honestly and falling back on convenient, sanitized terms like real estate disputes and airstrikes on militants feels a little disingenuous when what you're describing is forcing people from the homes they've lived in for decades and killing civilians and children. And again, none of this frees Hamas from responsibility, but Hamas doesn't represent all Palestinians, just as what Israel is doing right now doesn't represent all Israelis or indeed Jewish people. Lots is complicated here, but some things are pretty simple. One side is suffering much more. And if America really wants to help, it might want to seriously consider changing its long-held position here, because for decades, the backbone of America's policy in the Middle East has been that America is an unwavering friend to Israel, which is a great thing to try and be. But at the end of the day, I would hope that a real friend would tell me when I'm being an asshole, and definitely when I'm committing a fucking war crime.